Okay. She meant to put this address down, but because nobody, she missed the digit of where to transfer it to, so that. Oh, she made a mistake. Okay. Well, yeah, it was, I you, there was no such address. She left one digit off, and nobody knew where, uh, where to, what it was or where it should have been sent. So give me one moment. But the seven hundred dollar bill is not. It's for this address. Cause remember, I couldn't pay from March till now. So I know I owe a back balance of like seven, seven, eight, nine, whatever. But my old address, I only owe eighty three dollars. Then I put three hundred dollars. But that three hundred dollars went to my old address. So now it's in default. You get what I'm saying? So they got to figure out how to the other money that I put on my account this month to this account, and then that should bring my bill down some, and I could pay some more on it. Yeah, I'm gonna use my CA money to pay off, pay on it. My bill is supposed to be like nine hundred and something dollars, but I put three hundred dollars down. But they gotta transfer it. So with the one hundred and fifty dollar deposit that you have to put down for new services out of the three hundred, that's one fifty towards my nine hundred dollar bill. And then I'm gonna drop another. What's what's? Cause I just ordered some stuff off my CA. So now I got one hundred and ninety eight dollars. So I'm gonna put um. One hundred ninety eight dollars plus one fifty. So that's one hundred ninety eight dollars plus one fifty. So that's three forty nine. So forty eight. So if I take three sixty eight point eighty five, take away three eighty nine, my bill dropped down to five hundred and seventy nine dollars and eighty five cent that I need. And I'm glad I, I I'm glad I called them, cause my money is going to the old account. Okay. But it wasn't my fault. I couldn't pay no. I couldn't pay on this account until I got a new landlord, cause the old landlord was on some chinky shit. Okay. No one that fucking me up in the end. I should have just moved.
So would I be able, so would I be able to get the services on in my name now under at the new address? Uh, what's your new address? The two hundred. Um, what I what I told you. Oh, your ma'am, your account has been established at, at that address, Waltham Street. You mm -hmm. have an account there. Okay, so what are we working on now? Trying to transfer your credit balance over to this account. Okay. So that three hundred dollars that I put on the credit account, what that one fifty? Because I'm trying to understand what's the they said a one fifty, a hundred and fifty dollar deposit, right? Yes, ma'am. But let me see what's going on with this account. Let me see transfer. Yeah. So that went one hundred and fifty. That went towards the credit. Let me see transfer. So out of the three hundred dollars, only the one fifty gonna go towards the balance, right? That is correct. Okay. Okay. So do I ever get that hundred? Do I ever get that hundred and fifty dollar back, or do it goes to my last bill when I move? Okay. Wait a minute, ma'am. Let me. You have to pay a hundred and fifty dollar credit, so you do have a hundred and fifty dollar credit balance uh, for your deposit payment because it's what I just transferred over to your Waltham Street address. Now let me see that system must update. Let me see what it's going to show. Okay. Okay, it's giving you credit of a hundred and fifty dollar, which a hundred and fifty dollars. Which tells me that 150 of that posted for you as your deposit payment. Okay. So the 150 dollars gonna go out towards the 968 dollars for the Waltham address. That is correct, uh, causing a balance to be owed of 81885. Okay. Now, did you tell? Oh, that was just. Are you on the Lifeline program, ma'am? No, because everything just got switched over, so I'm not on no programs yet. Okay. So did did you want to use that 150 uh, that is showing as a pending payment as a down as a down payment for a PPA? Yes. What do you? Let me see if that'll let me do it. Okay, I'm trying to. Uh, I still don't understand why they why they holding a hundred and fifty dollars. If I pay three hundred dollars, why they holding one fifty for a deposit? They charge everybody one fifty for a deposit when you switch services on in your name. That shit is dumb. They should use that fucking one fifty towards the bill. That shit is dumb. The whole three hundred, not just one fifty. I don't want to ask her shit because she act like she got an attitude. I don't know. It says you need a eighty nine ninety more dollars. That's not enough for down payment. Well, I was gonna pay one hundred and eighty nine dollars today on the bill. Okay, so I mean one hundred and ninety eight dollars. Okay, so once that's paid, uh, let me see. Once that's paid, then if you want to you put on a payment plan, we can still do that. But make sure you call the Lifeline program and advise them of your new account number, okay? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get a pen or something. Okay. Can you tell me that number? when we hang up and then i'm gonna call that number and then give them that new account number that you just gave me and then they'll help me furthermore right uh, they, uh, they, they will tell you what to do from there yes ma'am is uh, there anything else I nope that's it thank you so much
You are very welcome, and thank you for contacting the Detroit Water and Sewage Department. Please enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye. My water is already on.